Hey guys, so in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, pretty much uh, change the stock recovery on your Samsung Admire, which um, pretty much is this one here is the red phone, that's the stock recovery. doesn't give you much options, uh, as you guys can see, there's the autofocus, there we go, but um, yeah, the stock recovery from Metro PCS doesn't really give you the option for you to back up your Samsung Admire. So, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to get Clockwork Mod, which is this one here. And Clockwork Mod obviously give you a lot more. And this is Clockwork Mod version 5.0.2.7, as you guys can see at the top there. But with this Clockwork Mod, it actually gives you the option for you to back up your your um, your phone, all your files, important files like. Uh, you know your calls and text messages and stuff like that so you can definitely back up your phone um, and it also gives you the option for you to install custom ROMs as well so if you want to change the stock ROMs stock uh, Metro PCS ROM you could change it to Monster or change it to Monster 5.3 or 4.0 um, and there are some other ROMs out there that you can change your phone to and customize it but we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to change it to this okay so from this right here again no option for backup to this right here alright guys so all the links are posted in the description like I mentioned and um, so right now what I'm doing here is I'm turning the phone off and once the phone is off, I'm going to go ahead and remove the, the battery as well. Now, I also went ahead and downloaded the software that's needed, or the softwares. Um, I downloaded the Odin uh, multi-downloader and the OPSS and the OPS file and the tar file, the .tar file that's needed. It's all in the description as well so now I'm still waiting for the phone to turn off as you guys can see it's still lit up okay I think it finally turned off so once it's off um, in the meantime I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up Odin but once the phone is off I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the battery like I said and I'm gonna put it back in now it's very important once you pull up Odin just to make sure that all the uh, all the check box here are actually checked and selected I'm putting the battery back in now you will need to just keep your hand down on the or keep your finger down on the on the uh, camera button on the side of the phone here like I'm showing you just keep your your finger down on that camera button because you will need to keep it down for at least 20 seconds or so so just keep pressing it and meanwhile you're pressing it you're just gonna hook up that USB uh, directly in there and once you hook up the USB, of course, it's going to give you a, 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 a screen like this. It's just a warning screen with a triangle, letting you know, hey, you know, you're going into the de developing mode. I'm going to press the volume up button to continue, because volume down will cancel. So volume up continues. As soon as I hit volume up, as you guys can see on my screen, it says download on or downloading on the screen on the phone and it has some information at the top the port on Odin should become yellow indicating that it's reading your phone so if you're not seeing it yellow then you need to download the driver for your phone so it should pop up here in a second as soon as it reads it think right now I'm actually downloading the driver for the phone here we go so now it's popped up yellow and now it's reading the phone so now I'm able to begin uh, with the installation of clockwork mod alright and if you guys could look at the phone it hasn't changed it still says downloading and now I'm gonna just go ahead and select OPS option I'm gonna select the OPS file uh, and it's actually one of the downloads in the description then I'm going to select on one package at the bottom here and then I'm going to find that uh, dot tar 
cockwordmod.tar file, which is also one of those uh, software that you can find in the description. Now your screen might be a little different on your end as far as your phone, uh, but when you hit start, your phone is pretty much going to do the same thing my phone is doing. I think my phone just rebooted right now. Um, but once you've selected the right uh, the right software, then you could go ahead and click start. And once start is selected, then the process has started. Now, your phone might look just as how mine look here in this video. It's you know pretty much looks normal, but just keep in mind that it is doing what it's supposed to do is installing that clockwork mod on your phone and it's very important that you don't turn your phone off in the process or remove that USB cable because you will uh, damage your phone so for me I'm just checking on the phone just to make sure that it, it hasn't you know frozen or anything like that so everything still looks good the green timer box here is going so I know uh, it's still hooked up to the phone and it's still reading the phone just fine it might just take uh, a few more minutes here but it takes up to five minutes before it finishes so in that time frame you just don't want to touch your phone don't even be on your phone at this point just set the phone down simple like oh I'm doing it here and just having some patience best to go get yourself uh, you know something to drink and probably a drink of water or a beer whatever floats your boat for me I'll just sit here and continue to wait it takes about like I said five minutes and I will be pausing the video at one point here just to catch up on some time alright my phone just lit up but uh, I know it's still in the process so and like I say you know as long as you follow the uh, the steps that I'm showing you there's nothing to worry about okay I mean you do this at your own risk keep that in mind but I've done this several times to several different phones and I never had a problem because I follow the steps okay so right now it's pretty much close to two minutes it's still going um, so I'll just continue to watch it at this point um, the phone looks normal but I know it's still in debugging mode uh, I think I'll go ahead and just you know pause the video and uh, we'll catch up at about four minutes or so because it will take about five minutes for the uh, for the phone I think it's rebooting right now but it will take a total of five minutes or more alright so I'll go ahead and pause this and we'll continue it's four minutes actually and it's still going so at this point if the uh, if if the box hasn't become blue the reset box hasn't become blue then it hasn't finished so just still be patient leave it hooked up via USB and just make sure that you didn't turn your phone off in the process or uh, you know disconnect it okay so should be finishing up here any second and um, once it's done there we go it's blue so now we're good to go I'm gonna disconnect it and show you guys what it looks like Okay, so at this point, guys, I went ahead and turned the phone off. The USB cable is still hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect the USB because we don't need that anymore. And um, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and try to access recovery. You access recovery by holding on the power button, the back button, and the volume down button. All right, I know that's complicated, but once you... Once you figure that you have ROM manager installed, you can change the ROM on here to make it more easy to access your recovery. So I'm trying to access recovery as you guys can see. I'm holding it down, holding down the buttons. Alright, any second now. Voila. So now I have ROM manager installed. I have the old version, not the new one. It's 5.0.2.7. ROM manager, 
now it has all the features that it didn't have before. It has the option for me to back up the phone, it has the option for me to put it down, you know, all type of options. And this also would give you the option for you to customize your, your phone and change it to run. All you gotta do is just get the one that you want on your SIM card and then install and you see it pretty much. Uh, and that's it. So now this phone has Clockwork 9 installed and the first thing that I'm going to do is back the phone up. So I'm going to go to Backup and Restore. I'm going to hit the Home button to enter that menu. And it's going to give me the option to back up as you guys can see, which I didn't have before. Because they didn't give you the option to back up your phone before. So now the phone is able to back up. I'm going to back it up by just hitting back up. So there it is. It's backing up. Backing up all the data on this phone. So if it crashes, I can recover it. Alright, so hope you guys found the tutorial useful. Uh, please subscribe or leave comments if you have questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alright. But that's how you install Clockwork Mod on the Samsung Admirer. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.